Hey y'all, so I'm taking a break and I thought I'd do a reading. Look at this shit, y'all, look. Okay, so this person that you're thinking about, right now they're overwhelmed with responsibilities. They don't have the time or their energy for a relationship right now. Okay, it's just not the right time. However, this is not goodbye. They don't want to walk away, but it is what's best for them right now. It's not goodbye. They, you will be together again soon. They do have something to say to you, however. Um, and what this is that they really want to share with you, and they're waiting for the right time to tell you, is that you are their soulmate. They, they think that you are their soulmate. They feel it very strongly. They believe it wholeheartedly. You are their destiny, and they know that you belong together. What else, Spirit? What else can you tell me about this connection? It's on. I see you looking good and moving on. I don't care who you're talking to. I'm better. I will compete for you. Yeah, this is definitely not goodbye. Um, <laughs> they've been obsessed with you. Um, they think they're obsessed with you. They stalk your socials. They, they hope to run into you everywhere they go. So it's, like I said, it's definitely not goodbye. It just seems like that they have got some shit going on right now. Um, yeah, there is a situation with their, a parent of theirs, a father, possibly, um, uh, a situation for their childhood. Maybe there's something going on in the present. Uh, there's some sort of situation with a family member and it could be a, could be their dad, possible a dad, a father figure in their life. Now, also they, they do really, <laughs> they're addicted to having attention Okay, they like to feel wanted, needed, and they don't feel whole without attention from others. So they're definitely um, talking to people, <laughs> um, other people as well. So you're not the only one, I think, that is on their mind. <sighs> Although you do feel like home to them, as they do think that you are their soulmate. So it makes a big difference. Um, and they, <laughs> they, you're theirs. Okay. I get so pissed knowing other people can have you now. It, is it toxic? Yeah, but they don't care. They want the world to know that you are theirs. Okay. Remember, it's just not the right time. Um, and they have been playing games. Okay. This, this is a game to them. They, uh, the way they've been acting, responding, posting to get your attention. Like I said, they love the attention. So that part of them is still immature. They still talk to other people. Um, and like I said, parents. So there's mother wounds here. There's father wounds here. And one of these situations with a parent could be you too. Keep that in mind. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, so... Yeah, they're definitely a soul connection. They're actually your twin flame. Um, twin flame, you activated my soul to find my true purpose and destiny in life. You helped me heal in ways no one else could. Thank you for finding me again this time around. So this is definitely your twin flame. Um, <laughs> definitely want to see your wild side. If they haven't already seen it, they want to see more of it. If they have seen it, they... And if they haven't seen it, they definitely want to see it. They want to let you, they want to see you let loose in the bedroom for sure. They do dig the fact that you're a very smart person. Um, they, they very, very attracted to your intellect and your intelligence and your logic. Logic is, is screaming out to me. They, they love how logical you are, how well you're able to put puzzles together. Um, they have been lying to you. They have been gaslighting you. They were playing games with you. Um, they are very focused on money right now, so which is why uh, one of the reasons that they're unavailable. They feel like you are perfect. Your beauty amazes them. They're not sure how, how they're attracted to someone like you, but they are forever grateful. Uh, they... <laughs> 
They want to know if you're still listening to music you've shared. Um, music helps them to connect with you as you're apart. Interesting. Really? <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> they're definitely worried that you're with someone else or talking to someone else, interested in someone else. They definitely want to know if the, one of the big questions they have in their head is if they were to approach you, how would you react to that? Would you reject them? Would you tell them to fuck off, go fuck himself, uh, tell them to go under a rock, tell them to jump off a cliff? Or would you be welcoming, you know, with welcome arms, with a smile, with a, hey, how you doing? Hey, it's good to see you. That's definitely something they definitely want to know. Um, they know that they made you cry. They think about when they think about how they made you cry, it makes them cry. They feel it. They feel your energy. They they feel you in a in a telepathic in a telepathic way because they're your twin flame. Um, you make them nervous. They make you nervous. Uh, I I see you guys shaking like chihuahuas when you're around each other. And they're very jealous of anyone you talk to, possibly talk to. If it looks like you're talking to them, if it looks like you're involved with them, they're going to be extremely jealous. And they're even jealous with someone you're currently involved with, period. Um, they keep saying they want you to let them go. They, they, they love you enough to let you go. So what that means is they, they want you to be happy. They don't want to keep you in any kind of imprisonment in your head or otherwise. They don't want you to be stuck, stagnant, waiting on them, pining for them. They want you to live your life. They want you to be happy. They want to see you smile on a daily. Uh, that's how much they care about you. They feel like you deserve better. Um, and right now they are also finding themselves. They, it sounds like they've had some sort of a spiritual awakening. They, they feel like you are so special that you are really truly divine. They've never felt the energy that you put out. Um, they've never felt energy like this before. It's a very electric, powerful, strong energy. Um, and they want to spoil you. <laughs> they want to give you the good life. They, they want to do all those things. They're just not available at the moment. And right now they're having to act like they don't care about you. They don't want nothing to do with you. They don't, they're not attracted to you. And I believe this has to do with the people that are around them, friends, family members, coworkers, what have you. Uh, it's like they're trying to cover it up. Like they don't want you, they don't want people to know. And in the meantime, they're taking that time to heal, uh, get over some shit, get over the heartbreaks and so forth and, and realizing some shit about themselves. And what they have realized is that you are their fantasy. You are what they want. They're looking at your pictures. They're looking at your videos that they have saved on their phone. They're watching your videos on your social medias. They're watching your social medias. They fantasize about you. They dream about you. They constantly, any free time they have, they're thinking about you, wondering where you're at, what you're doing, what you're feeling, what you're thinking, what you want, who you're with who you know who you're talking to um they want to like start over they want to do over with you um they want to let the past kind of go and just kind of start over from scratch and see what would happen um they will contact you soon um like i said they're they're unavailable at the moment but they will be calling contacting you soon okay um and they they feel your energy because I do feel like your your energy is shifting like you are pulling your energy away a little bit and I I do feel like that you're very skeptical about this reunion you're very skeptical about this person coming forward as well as not sure about this connection anymore unclear you don't know how you feel about this connection anymore and your person definitely is picking that up as well so they know that they're on a timeline here they know that they're on a timeline they know they're on a timeline. Let me repeat that one more time. They know they're on a timeline, okay? You don't have to make that known to them. They know it. They know it, okay? They know it. I love you guys. I hope this helps.